outside of Chama, New Mexico at the Quinlan Ranch. Yeah, we've been in the road for 12 hours and we're super excited to be here. We were here about two years ago and I shot my first elk. Look how big this is. They're huge. <laughs> he shot a very special mule deer and we're just looking forward to making some more memories together. The Quinlan Ranch is gorgeous. There's mountains, there's plains. It's got everything any hunter could ask for. It's about 20,000 acres covered in game. They've got deer, they have bears, there's a ton of elk. When they're rutting, you never know what's gonna happen. So how I found Quinlan Ranch was through my dad. My dad's been coming here for years and gone on all types of hunts, but the way my dad found Quinlan Ranch was actually through SCI. He had a hard time finding a good elk outfitter. He met up with Quinlan at one of the SCI shows and just hit it off with the guys, and the rest is history. Keith, how's it going? And you are? Nevin. Nevin, did we meet before? Oh yeah. We met a couple of years ago, right? Three years ago. My name is Nevin Shippey. I've been guiding here on the Quinlan Ranch for 10 years now, and I'm very excited to hunt with Maddie this week. When I first met Nevin, he was real quiet, and I was like, oh no, he's gonna think I'm nuts, because I'm very loud but we hit it off. He's hilarious. He knows everything about elk hunting. He's done it for over 30 years. I told Nevin that I wanted a challenging hunt, not only physically, but mentally, and he's gonna give me that. Right now we're in the, the fall of the season, the rutting season for the elk, so they're gonna be moving a lot. They're gonna be talking a lot. There's a lot of activity going on out there. It's one of the funnest times to hunt elk. Maddie looks kind of soft, so we're gonna put her to the test. Well, howdy, Nevin. Hello, Maddie. How are you? Good. Well, we just got to Quinlan Ranch, and per usual, our first stop is the range. We got to check zero, make sure everything's on, because Nevin is going to be guiding us, and hopefully we're going to get lucky. You ready, Daddy? I'm ready. So we're going to start out with a 300 Win Mag by APF, and hopefully it's still on. Hopefully. I bet it is. All right, this is the elk target from Effective Range Targets. I'm fixing to go on an elk hunt. We're zeroing in to make sure we are good to go to the field. But right here you'll see this is what the vital size is of an elk at 100 yards. If you can group within this ring, you're good to go at 100 yards. But what's unique about this effective range target is that it goes into 200, 300, 4, all the way to 600 yards. And it's got these lines for you. If you're sighted in at two inches high at 100 yards, here's where you want to aim to get right in the bullseye. The reason we're sighted in at two inches high at 100 yards is because it allows for us to dope better when we're in the field and using a rangefinder to the exact range. All right, so growing up, I always hunted with bolt guns and modern sporting rifles are relatively new to me. I've hunted with them for the past couple of years, but what I'm really excited about with this gun, it's my first time hunting with it. It's an APF and it's a 300 Win Mag. It's got Timber Creek on it to make it a little bit lighter. I've got a sight mark scope on top. It's a Citadel and it's just real clear and great for getting out at longer distances. This ammunition, this is pretty exciting. This is from Sierra. I hunted with Sierra bullets my entire life, but they now have their own ammunition line. This is the game changer. It's a 180 grain bullet, and I'm really excited to put it to the test on an elk. But let's see how we're shooting. Perfect, just where we want to be. Let's go check it out. Now it's time for viewer feedback. All right, this one comes to us from Harold off of our website. He said, I've hunted my entire life in Texas and I'm now 73 years old. I've always wanted to hunt elk, but unfortunately I don't think I'm physically capable of it anymore. Do you have any suggestions for me? Yes, you have to go for it. An elk hunt is something that I think every hunter should be able to go on. And here at Quinlan Ranch and at a lot of other elk hunting outfits, there's different methods to hunt. So you can also hunt over a watering hole, out of a box blind, a tree stand. An outfitter is going to make it happen for you, and I don't think you should let your age get in the way of your dream hunt. So that's a good question. If you have any questions for us, go to our website. It's highroadhunting.com and click on the Connect with Keith and Maddie tab. All right, 
It is morning one. It is a perfect 50 degrees outside. It feels great. It's beautiful. We're gonna walk up this road in glass and try to find an elk and stock up on them. So we'll see how this goes. Most of them are gonna be bedded in, in cover. They'll come up out of this water in the mornings and they'll bed in this area here. In the evenings, we can catch them coming back out here. Do they ever cross these ridges? Yeah, they can come up the ridge and then come up this ridge top here. But yeah, they can go up over. They've got trails. You've got a, you can see a trail coming down there. I'm sure. It is sure pretty country. All right, y'all, this is something a lot of people wouldn't show you, but it's real life and we're gonna show you. We have no clue what this elk died of. It didn't look like he was wounded or anything, but it's a young bull. Mother nature is beautiful. I mean, look at where we are, but it's also brutal. This should be perfect. road and we're glassing we're listening for bugles we're trying to come up with a game plan but for now we just heard a bugle that way so we're going to keep walking along this road and hopefully get up on a high point where we can see them just had a ton of action. We came up and we heard some elk up on that other hill and decided to stay put and see if they'd work their way down. They did, it was a nice bachelor group. We had like over six elk on us at one point, but they spooked a little bit and took off. They didn't seem that scared, so we're gonna try to head that way and see if we can come up on them before they go bed. Everywhere I go, I know that the Lucas products are gonna keep my farms working tip-top shape. All right, we are fixing to head back into the field, and I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of a tip. These little levers on my Kof Jaeger, which has been a huge help for me on this hunt, it totally holds the gun up, but they are kind of hard to open, and they'll get real noisy with all the dirt and grime. You can hear that, and elk have great ears, so we'll spray a little CLP on them. It helps lubricate them, and now they're a lot quieter and they're smoother because you don't know. You might have to shoot off a knee, you might have to shoot standing up, and you gotta be able to open these on the fly and make it longer if you need to. So this is just something we use in the field on our guns, but also on equipment. It's safe for guns, it's like WD-40, but safe for guns and for all of your equipment. So I definitely recommend keeping it in your bag because it's a necessity.
guys. Well, as we're watching these elk, the cows are moving around, and all of a sudden, way on the timber line, we see a big bull. The one in the back is a good one. In the middle of the herd. It's a good six. Something boogered those elk, and they took off running. Excellent morning. This morning we saw a good group of bachelor bulls and we saw one shooter with a group of cows and we spooked them. They were running off. Now we're going to hike in and set up where we think they're going to come down to a watering hole, maybe do some spot and stalking, and hopefully get lucky. All right, we were sitting over this water and hole and I'm thinking about my gun. I'm sighted in at 200 yards because typically when you're elk hunting, you're gonna have a longer shot. But this shot probably is gonna be 60 yards. And on the back of my ammo box, it's got the ballistic information. And at 100 yards, if you're zeroed at 200, you're shooting an inch and a half high. So I'm probably gonna hold under like two inches if I get a shot opportunity. And I'm really excited to use this ammo. Sierra's always made bullets, but now they've got their own ammo line. And this is a 180 grain, 300 wind mag bullet. Shoots great on target, and I'm hoping it's gonna do great on a big bull elk. All right, it is our last morning hunt. We are down to the wire. We've hunted hard, we've been hiking, we've tried hunting over water holes. And if we hear anything and make a game plan and hopefully get tagged out. He's bigger than we think. perfect shot opportunity and I had about three seconds where this elk was looking at me and I had a chest shot and I didn't take it and I'm kicking myself in the butt because it's the last day and now I don't know what's gonna happen all right it is our last sit of the entire hunt we've hunted hard we've seen a lot of elk a lot of good elk anyways we're sitting over a water hole we've got a lot of good game camera pictures here so we're gonna see if we hear him start talking here in a couple hours see if anything comes in, maybe hit the ground walking, but uh, we're gonna sit tight. This is a good spot and I'm feeling good about it, so. Yes. 
a bull right behind him. That's a good bull. That's a good bull. God, he's huge. Take him. There's a tree hanging. That is a good bull. Thank you so much. I'm good. Oh my god. That is a good bull. That is a fantastic bull, and we have worked our butts off for this. I don't know if the whole show is going to show how much we hiked, how much he cow called, but this was well earned. Thank you, Nevin. Seriously. You are welcome. Oh, I think he's right there in the water hole. He fell right there, and I, I am like inconsolably shaking <laughs> oh my gosh look at that that look at that that is a quinlan ranch bull elk look at the mud in him oh my gosh and he's broke off right here oh my goodness he's absolutely gorgeous perfect shot both yeah, shots were right in the shoulder good shots oh my goodness folks if you've never been elk hunting, it is one of the most satisfying hunts you can ever go on. Mentally, physically, it's just, there's no way to describe what I've gone through this week. And I think that every hunter has to have this experience. And we're at the Quinlan Ranch. They have everything that New Mexico has to offer. Beautiful scenery, fantastic guides, and hunts of a lifetime. So give them a call if you're looking to book a hunt. I, I'm at a loss for words for how grateful I am for this entire experience. So thank y'all for being a part of it and watching and make sure and take the high road. Growing up with my dad and hunting and spending time outdoors has taught me a lot about life. It's taught me a lot about how to be a responsible and ethical hunter and just how to be a, a better marksman. So, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. It's also taught me that as a hunter, we're always looking for that next great adventure, that next great step in our hunting careers. And for me, a huge step that he opened me up to was coming here to Quinlan Ranch and elk hunting. It challenged me mentally, it challenged me physically, and, and I think that I'm a better hunter for it, and I think that I'm a better person for it. I've got a greater respect for elk, I've got a greater respect for this beautiful place that we get to call home. And we have to thank people like SCI for giving us these opportunities and conserving this whole experience of hunting for future generations. So I think that if you're a hunter and you're looking for that next great experience and, and you don't know what it is, Look at going elk hunting. Call Quinlan Ranch and see what opportunity you can have here because it's changed my entire life as a hunter and just as a human being. Taxidermy work for the High Road Group is provided by Conroe Taxidermy, Conroe, Texas.